Alright, received a beer mail today, and quite the fucking epic one is at that. Uh, everything survived. Uh, this, yeah, I know that's just a box. This, this, we just opened it. It came from Average Joe 716. Uh, really nice guy from down south in the States. Um, he started out saying he was just going to send me a beer donation. And I was like, okay, so just send me a couple bottles. This, this sounds good, this sounds good. And he decided, no, I'm, I'm actually going to send you a whole shitload of stuff. Which he did. That's right. Right here. Yeah, Basically 11 beers in here. <laughs> what are you doing, Doug? Get them, Doug. You excited about the beer as well, are you? Alright, so we have the little seal here, and this is quite the exceptional fucking beer mail, I must say. Um, good sir, much like the albino rhino, I think handwriting is a lost art. Um, just way too lazy to actually handwrite a note. My apologies. Here's a bit about the beers. So you got me the, and I'm not going to even try to pronounce this uh, properly, uh, Oct Sri Lanka Rausch Beer Marzen. I'll, I'll get the pronouncement. I'll get it right for when I do the review, but uh, this is one I've wanted for a long, long time. Uh, this is... Uh, and he's got all the information on here. 5.4%, uh, 30 IBUs. I always wanted to try a real raw beer, so here you go. Never had it myself, but the margin is supposed to be one of the best of the style. So that's awesome. That side. Now, Cape Ann Fisherman's Pumpkin Stout. 7% uh, alcohol by volume, 30 IBUs. That one is right here. And mostly these are stouts and porters. Uh, okay, let's we'll see what he says on that one. Uh, you've had a bunch of pumpkin ales, right? But what about a pumpkin stout? Yes. Yeah, it sounds weird, but it's worth a try. It doesn't sound weird. It sounds awesome. And I'm definitely excited to try it. Here's one off my uh, bucket list, and even uh, mentions that in the in the spiel here. Flying Dog Gonzo Imperial Porter, 9.2%. Al alcohol by volume, 85 IBUs. This one, this is one uh, of your bucket list beers, and you lucked out as it. This came into my beverage center only a few days before I sent the beer mail. Really awesome. Uh, where is that sucker? It's hiding on me. Oh, I can't wait to try that. Can't wait to try that. That is so awesome. I wanted to have that one for so long. Definitely keeping the bottle too. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. Next, Founders Breakfast Stout. So this is just the regular uh, breakfast stout, not the uh, KBS, which I've already had. Uh, this is really cool. 8.3%, um, 60 IBUs. I know you had KBS, which you loved, so why not try out his little brother? Indeed. Got the little baby eating his uh, little kid, little baby, whatever, eating his cereal on there. Double chocolate coffee oatmeal stout. Woohoo! Can't wait to try that. I'm going to have to go back to my uh, Kentucky Breakfast, breakfast Stout uh, review and um, take some notes just so keep comparisons fresh in my head when I actually do review that one. Um, next, another one from Founders. Uh, Founders Harvest Ale, 6.5%, 70 IBUs. This is the only IPA I threw in just because it's a limited release and it's pretty dang fresh. I definitely drink it first. All right, well, that, okay, well, we'll do that one. Scott will... Not be against us doing that. Wet hopped ale. Yeah, definitely should try to get this one as quick as possible. Sweet. Very, very sweet. A nice label, too. I like that. That'll be one for the share with Scott. Um, next, Founders Porter. 6.5%, 45 IBUs. Another Founders beer. They just started distributing to my area. Well, you lucky dog. So I figured I'd let you try a few more of them. Yeah, I love Founders. Uh, ever since uh, Daniel Harper, Endosymbiosis hooked me up with a couple Founders beers. So I've been, you know, going nuts for that brewery. I think that's probably one of the best, if not the best brewery in the United States I've tried stuff from. Founders Porter. Got this Victorian lady on it. Nice label. Very cool. All right, next. This was a 17-pound package, by the way, and he listed it as um, glassware and uh, collectible snow globes. Uh, Great Divide Yeti Imperial Stout. This one I've heard about uh, quite a quite a bit. 9.5%, uh, uh, 75 IBUs. There are many variations of this beer, but this is the regular version. Cool, very cool. I ain't complaining. 
Yeti Imperial Stout. Yeah, I think there's like some bourbon barrel age versions of this and stuff like that too, but uh, who cares? <laughs> I'm happy to get whatever, man. It's just like the Bose Brewing. Though. It does. It, the, the label definitely reminds me a lot of Bose Brewery, so I, I'm thinking maybe they were inspired a bit by this brewery to when they started up their stuff, because Great Divides have been around forever. So. Um, Great Lakes Edmund Fitzgerald Porter, another classic from America, 5.8 percent, 37 IBUs. Great Lakes makes some fantastic beer. So let's what you think of the uh, what's considered the flagship one. Yeah, Great Lakes Edmund Fitzgerald. Woo! -hoo. All these big awesome beers, dark awesome beers. Uh, next. Southern Tier Pumpkin, 8.6%, 25 IBUs. I've seen everybody go nuts over this fucking beer. Uh, everyone down south and anyone in the Canada who's managed to get their hands on it have gone crazy for this one. Um, this is a big Imperial Pumpkin Ale and is highly sought after around these parts in the fall. Well, I can imagine from the reviews I've seen of it. Southern Tier, good, good uh, brewery. I've had a few things from them. Even 19 Play-Doh. Yeah. Sweet stuff. And finally, from the just, just a regular list, Stone Smoke Porter with Vanilla Bean. Stone, a brewery uh, Stumpy Doe Jr. Uh, is very familiar with. Stone Smoke Porter with Vanilla Beans. 5.9%, 53 IBUs. Haven't tried Stone Smoke Porter yet, but my beer store just got a small shipment of this. Had to buy a few. You'd probably end up drinking it before me, so I'll be waiting on the review. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, holy crap, I'm definitely going to be tearing into some of these this weekend. I can see it now. Wow. Great bottle, too. I love how they have it, like, uh, is that, yeah, they got it, like, uh, painted on there instead of just, like, a tear-off label. That's definitely going in the collection. i got to find a new bookcase just for my bottle collection now. Holy shit. That sounds great. That sounds really great. And... Just for shits and giggles, well, or just to be nice, oh, incredibly nice, he sent me a 1050, which I've been dying to get another, hands on another one of these uh, for a long time, since I had the first one. Uh, 1050 from Oscar Blues, fucking great beer, one of my 5 out of 5s, I love it, absolutely love it. Great, great stuff. And he sent a couple of Dogfish Head coasters as well, just for the hell of it. Uh, really, really nice, I gave one to my brother. Say thank you. Thank you. And he said, sorry I couldn't find Guinness for an extra stout. Ah, fuck, no need to apologize. Look what you sent me, man. Uh, it's not available until late November at my beverage center. I'll grab you one at some point. Cool. Uh, I definitely have to rethink what I'm sending you now. Uh, if it's going to be a... If I'm going to be sending you only a six-beer package back your way, they're going to have to be... Uh, Gonna have to be a hell of a package. Sea level starts canning or whatever. Oh, um, yeah. I don't know when sea level is gonna start canning, so I do have a couple beers put away for them already. I'm definitely, I'm not just sending them one bottle of uh, Propeller uh, Russian Imperial Stout when it comes back. I think I have to send him two just, just for a nice little payback. Um, so he'll probably end up getting more than six beers, just like I ended up getting way more than what I asked for. He's like, this is going to be a donation, and it turned into a full-fledged, like, fucking epic beer mail. So, big thanks to you, Joe. Uh, really, really fucking appreciate this. This is great. I can't wait to get into these. Look at all these fucking awesome beers. Uh, I know I'm probably going to enjoy all of them. Definitely know I'm going to enjoy this one, because I've already had it, but uh, I think I'm going to drink that tonight, actually. I, I I don't think I can let this one sit <laughs> for too long. Uh, yeah, so we're going to get into these. Scott's going to definitely join in on some of these ones. What ones do you want to join in on? I know you want to. You'll want to do the wet hopped pumpkin beers. Up pumpkin cool. beers, yeah. That would be cool. The, yeah, smoked. the smoked one. Yeah. Right on. So yeah, thanks again, Joe. Uh, I'll be messaging messaging you uh, before I get this fully edited and uploaded and everything. So. Uh, I don't know if you get the message first or if you'll see the video, one or, one or the other. And yeah, guys, uh, this is what we have to look forward to in the late fall, uh, early winter reviews uh, as of right now. Uh, what can you say? It's going to be a good times for the channel, I guess. All right, guys, we'll see you later.